Welcome back into 640 on your Friday morning. It's a verdict that made history and headlines all around the world. For the first time, a former U.S. president has been convicted of a felony. So what does this mean for former President Donald Trump? Attorney Dave Beatrice is here breaking it all down for us in Legally Speaking this morning. Good to see you, Dave. Good, Good morning. To see you. So 34 felony counts and right. guilty on all of them. How historic right. is this, first off? Well, it's historic in the sense that no former president has been charged with felonies and been convicted. So that in and of itself is historic. And I see a lot of people attacking the judicial system. So let me just try to just settle everyone down. There's a law in the books in New York that say you cannot falsify your records. That if you falsify business records, it's a misdemeanor, okay? If you falsify business records and, and it was to cover up something else, a felony, it uh, upgrades it from a misdemeanor to a felony. Now, why is it important that businesses, especially in the capital financial of the world, keep accurate business records, right? That's a good law. So they had evidence. Now, here's what people have to understand. Evidence is not a Democrat. Evidence isn't a libertarian. Evidence isn't a Republican. Evidence is evidence. And prosecutors have to bring evidence into court. And then they have to convince 12 people beyond a reasonable doubt. What does beyond a reasonable doubt means? That those people were so confident that that evidence proved that crime that they'd be willing to rely upon it in their most important decisions in life, like your decision to get married. You know how confident you were in that decision? Or when you get on a plane, if you have reasonable doubt whether or not that plane's going to take off or not, you don't get on that plane. That's how firm they have to be. And the judge instructs them, you're not to take sympathy into account. You're not going to, you don't, you're not taking account whether you like or dislike a person. You are to take this evidence. These are in the jury instructions. I read them. You are to take this evidence and apply it to the facts of this case from that witness stand. And nothing else should go into your decision making. I mean, there are politicians. I saw Tim Scott uh, in a story that we had earlier in the hour uh, attacking the legal system now. Uh, right. Is that, That's how harmful not, or is that? Is that overall, um, it's, it's bad. If you don't have a rule of law, you, you don't have a democracy. I understand people are upset. There's a lot of people upset that, that they brought this case and they got a conviction. But they didn't get it because there wasn't evidence. There had to be evidence for them to get this conviction. Not only evidence, they had to get 12 people to unanimously agree that that evidence was of such nature that it was stood and he got 34 convictions. Now what's this mean for the president? Well, in the Constitution of the United States, there's no bar against a felon running for office. There is in Ohio. If you are, live in Ohio and you are a felon, you can't run for office. But you can run for a federal office. Jim Trafficant ran for Congress from prison and mm -hmm. got 20% of the vote. So his supporters are still going to be with him. I don't think this conviction means anything to them. But it should be a celebration that our system can hold the most powerful person accountable if he breaks the law. That's what should be celebrated, that the system works, even for the most powerful. The system can hold you accountable. Now, in terms of that accountability, um, this, uh, this, the sentencing is what, July 11th? Yes. Um, and, uh, pending an appeal and everything like that. Um, the conviction carries possible prison time. What are the odds of that actually? I, 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 look, I don't see it. There are no victims in this. Uh, if you want to say, oh, the people in New York were somehow victims because they didn't get information, that doesn't hold too much. And no one lost money. Uh, it's a 71, I don't hold it, how old is he, 77? 77-year-old man, no prior record, uh, uh, no one lost money. I, I don't think he's going to face any prison time. I think it's a probation case. Whether he took it to trial or not, I think he gets... A probation. I think that's the fair thing to do is to give someone with no prior record on a financial crime where no one lo suffered loss. I, I might not be saying that if some people suffered money or financial losses, they didn't. Uh, but I think probation is probably what Judge Mershon will give him. So it's, it's more in terms of black and white in terms of the age of the, of the person and uh, the lack of prior uh, yeah, criminal I mean, history. Look, anything, look, right? look, when a judge is making a determination for a sentence, there's no guns, drugs, or anything involved. No one got harmed. No one got financially harmed. And you have a man who has no prior record. 
you just look at those facts, that screams for probation. Uh, now, I will say, the president slamming the judge, calling him a corrupt judge, that's certainly not helping. You would hope that the judge can put that aside, mm -hmm. and the judge should put that aside. But judges are human just like everyone else. It's pretty hard when someone's attacking your daughter, okay, who has really nothing to do with the trial, and, and you have a chance, you have discretion on whether to incarcerate someone or not. I mean, I think Judge Mershon, you're going to see a, a side of Judge Mershon, a lot of people uh, that don't like the, the former president are going to be mad, but I honestly believe he's going to be given probation in this case. All right, there you go. It'll, we shall see. Like I said, uh, sentencing, sentence, sentencing, excuse me, July 11th. For July 11th. All right, Dave, there good to see go. you as always. Thank you much. Thank All you. All right, we have trivia coming up after the break. Let's take a look at today's question of the day. Give us a call.